Why were rumors about Cassie Davis's death spread back in 2023? She is famous for her role as Ella Payne, the nurturing and strong-willed wife of Curtis Payne in the show Tyler Perry's House of Payne. She also played the role of Aunt Bam in the Medea franchise, being a lively, outspoken, and often hilariously inappropriate character who stole the show with her sharp wit. Not only was it said that she had died of cancer, but gossips were made about her marriage status, and most people considered LeVan Davis as her husband, yet the reality is different. Now, after staying silent all along, Cassie at 60 has decided to break the silence and talk about her personal life. So, what has Cassie Davis revealed that has left fans shocked and in disbelief? Welcome to a new episode of Black Africa Diary, a channel where we talk about Black African history, culture, arts, and civilization. It's a place where you will see the real picture of Black Africa, its stories, and the events defining it. In this episode, we will tell you what Cassie Davis admitted that most people already suspected. Let's get started. Cassie Davis is best known for her beloved role as Aunt Bam in Tyler Perry's Medea franchise, bringing laughter and joy to countless households over the years. However, while her on-screen presence is widely recognized, much about Cassie's personal life has remained under wraps. For years, fans and the media speculated about her life away from the spotlight, often getting it wrong. But now, at 60, Cassie has decided to open up, sharing a few personal details that many had long presumed. Born Cassandra Davis on July 31, 1964, in Holly Springs, Mississippi, Cassie grew up in a small, close-knit community. Her parents, devout Christians, were important in shaping her values of faith, discipline, and hard work. These principles guided Cassie throughout her life, influencing both her personal decisions and career choices. Although Cassie tends to keep her family life private, she has revealed that her parents were always supportive of her talents, especially her love for music and the performing arts. From a young age, Cassie was involved in school plays and the choir, where her passion for performing became apparent. Recognizing her potential, her family encouraged her to pursue her dreams. Therefore, after high school, Cassie enrolled at Spelman College, a historically black liberal arts college for women in Atlanta, known for its strong focus on the arts. It seemed like the perfect place for her to refine her musical talents. However, her time at Spelman came with challenges that tested her faith and resolve. As a committed Christian, Cassie faced a dilemma when the college administration refused her request to perform a Christian song for a required recital due to their strict guidelines. Feeling that this restriction compromised her core beliefs, she made the tough decision to leave Spelman without completing her degree. Yes, she valued her principles more than a degree, and she did not need a degree to prove she was talented. However, leaving college early had initially been a difficult choice, but it forced Cassie to focus fully on her entertainment career. She moved to Atlanta and began taking on theater and television roles, relying on her talent and determination to break into the competitive industry. Throughout her journey, she stayed true to her faith, allowing it to guide her choice of roles. Her spirituality became a defining feature of both her personal and professional life, often leading her to projects that aligned with her values. Cassie's acting career took off in 1988 with a minor role in Spike Lee's School Days, which tackled the complexities of black college life. Though her part was small, it was enough to catch the attention of industry insiders and open doors to more opportunities. A major breakthrough came when she was mentored by Chip Fields, an accomplished actress and director who recognized Cassie's potential. Under Chip's guidance, Cassie sharpened her acting skills and expanded her network, which proved invaluable in her early career. During the late 1980s and early 1990s, Cassie took on various roles in popular television series such as Living Single and Married with Children, where she played supporting characters that showcased her comedic talents. Though these roles were not leading parts, they were crucial in building her experience and visibility in the industry. Cassie also appeared in films like Silent Bomb and A Different World, proving her versatility in both comedy and drama. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? 
If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. The defining moment of her career came when she teamed up with Tyler Perry. Known for his unique blend of comedy, drama, and moral storytelling, Perry saw something special in Cassie. Though initially hesitant about transitioning into stage acting, she was convinced by Perry. Her performance as Ella Payne in the stage play, I Can Do Bad All By Myself, was a hit, marking the beginning of a long and successful collaboration. Later, her role as Aunt Bam in the Medea franchise became her signature character, with a lively and humorous personality endearing her to fans. Movies like Medea's Family Reunion, Medea Goes to Jail, and Medea's Big Happy Family cemented her reputation as a comedic powerhouse. Beyond the Medea films, Cassie reproduced her role as Ella Payne in the popular series Tyler Perry's House of Pain, earning critical acclaim and multiple awards, including an NAACP Image Award. A surprising moment came in 2008, when, with a thriving career in entertainment, she returned to Spelman to finish her degree, believing it would open up new opportunities beyond acting. By 2009, she proudly completed her studies, proving that it's never too late to chase one's educational goals. Cassie's journey from a small-town girl in Mississippi to a celebrated Hollywood actress speaks volumes about her talent, perseverance, and unyielding faith. Her career has been defined by significant breakthroughs, making her a highly respected figure in the industry. Known for infusing her characters with authenticity and heart, Cassie has won over fans with her blend of comedy and emotional depth, making her one of the most recognizable actresses today. Despite her fame, Cassie has kept much of her personal life away from the public eye. Over the years, fans have speculated about her off-screen relationships, particularly with her House of Pain co-star LeVan Davis. Their convincing on-screen chemistry as Curtis and Ella Payne led many to believe they were married in real life. Sharing the same last name only fueled these rumors. However, both Cassie and LeVon have been clear that their relationship is strictly professional. In reality, Cassie is happily married to Carrie Patton, her childhood friend turned life partner. They met in third grade and reconnected later in life, leading to a deep, enduring relationship. After decades of friendship, they decided to make it official, marrying in a private ceremony in 2017. Unlike the public speculation about her relationship with LeVan, Cassie's marriage to Carrie has been kept intentionally low-key, reflecting their shared desire for privacy. Cassie and Carrie's relationship is built on a solid foundation of love, mutual respect, and friendship. Over the years, they have supported each other through various challenges and celebrated many milestones together. Carrie, who remains out of the public spotlight, has been a rock for Cassie, providing her with the emotional support she needs in her demanding career. Their bond exemplifies the enduring power of love and partnership, grounded in a deep understanding of each other's strengths. Although they do not have children, they continue to enjoy a happy, fulfilling life together, cherishing their privacy and shared journey. Everything was going as ideal as Cassie wanted, until 2023, when things completely changed. Rumors about Cassie Davis's death spread like wildfire, shocking fans and friends alike. Social media was flooded with false reports claiming that Cassie had passed away from cancer. This death hoax quickly gained momentum, causing widespread panic and grief among her admirers and colleagues. Many rushed to express their condolences, only to find out later that the story was completely untrue. Tyler Perry, who has had a long-standing professional relationship with Cassie, was among the first to set the record straight. Frustrated by the spread of these baseless rumors, he took to social media to assure everyone that Cassie was alive and well. With his trademark humor, Perry shared that he called Cassie after receiving multiple frantic messages, jokingly asking her if she was, in fact, dead. Thankfully, his lighthearted confirmation helped put the false reports to rest. Other close friends and colleagues also stepped up to confirm her well-being, which went a long way in easing fans' concerns. While Cassie was not battling cancer, she did reveal a health challenge she had been facing privately. For some time, fans had noticed changes in her appearance, 
sparking speculation. In a candid interview, Cassie disclosed that she had been diagnosed with Bell's palsy, a condition that causes sudden, temporary paralysis of the muscles on one side of the face. This was especially challenging for her, as facial expressions are crucial to her craft as an actress. Cassie first noticed symptoms of Bell's palsy when she began to experience facial drooping and difficulty controlling the muscles on one side of her face. The visible changes even led some fans to speculate that she had suffered a stroke, especially when they noticed her occasional limp. However, Cassie clarified that it was not a stroke, but Bell's palsy. The diagnosis was a shock, but she leaned on her strong faith, family, and close friends to pass through this difficult period. Her positive outlook and belief in the power of support helped her cope. In her interview, Cassie shared how she managed to continue working despite her condition. She adapted by using makeup and creative lighting techniques to reduce the visible effects of Bell's palsy on screen. This shows her undying dedication to acting, even in the face of such challenges. Her colleagues, particularly Tyler Perry and the House of Pain cast, supported her throughout, making adjustments to help her stay comfortable on set. By speaking openly about her experience, Cassie has brought much-needed awareness to Bell's palsy and its effects. Her story has inspired many who face similar health challenges, demonstrating that it is possible to continue pursuing one's dreams despite physical hurdles. Beyond her health challenges, Cassie's life has been shaped by her deep Christian faith, strong relationships, and commitment to giving back. Cassie has also channeled her experiences into meaningful charitable work. She is dedicated to raising awareness and funds for those affected by Bell's palsy. Her faith plays a significant role in her philanthropy as she supports various church-based programs aimed at helping underprivileged communities through food drives, educational scholarships, and youth mentorship. Despite her success, Cassie remains humble and grounded. As of 2024, her net worth is estimated to be around $6 million, largely earned through her extensive collaborations with Tyler Perry in both television and film. However, Cassie's true legacy extends beyond her financial success. It lies in the inspiration she brings through her performances, her tireless faith, and her heartfelt dedication to helping others. As she continues to touch lives with her work on and off the screen, Cassie Davis stands as a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, leaving a legacy rooted in compassion and faith. Now Cassie Davis is set to return as the fan favorite character Aunt Bam in the upcoming film, Tyler Perry's Medea's Destination Wedding, slated for release in 2025. Aunt Bam, known for her sass, quick wit, and unapologetic humor, is expected to bring her infectious charm and unforgettable one-liners back to the screen. This new installment promises to deliver the same hilarious comedy that Medea fans have grown to love, while also weaving in heartfelt moments that touch on themes of family, love, and strength. The story in Medea's Destination Wedding starts with Medea and her extended family heading to the beautiful beaches of the Bahamas for a destination wedding. What starts as a joyous celebration soon spirals into chaos, thanks to Medea's meddling, Aunt Bam's jokes, and the unpredictable behavior of the entire family. The idyllic tropical setting offers a fresh background for the Medea-style fun, creating a perfect contrast between the serene scenery and the wild, comedic moments that ensue. Viewers can expect plenty of over-the-top wedding drama, unexpected cultural clashes, and of course, the slapstick humor that defines the franchise. Cassie Davis's portrayal of Aunt Bam is bound to steal the spotlight, blending her trademark bold humor with moments of heartfelt wisdom. Known for her love of gossip, food, and stirring up mischief, Aunt Bam will undoubtedly bring her own agenda to the trip, adding layers of comedy as she interacts with familiar faces and new characters alike. What are your thoughts about Cassie Davis's personality in real life and the characters she portrayed? Isn't it true that she is a kind lady and has a natural command in acting? In the comment section right below, share your thoughts on the wholesomeness of the roles Cassie played, which will always be timeless. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it.
We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.